What's up, guys? Dirk here, aka your hometown anomaly, coming back at y'all with another video today. And today it is gonna be the big thank you video for five, five, one, two, three, four, five thousand subscribers. Let's go! I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys for sticking around for like my shenanigans and these just crazy ass videos that I put out. And uh, you know, I just am so thankful for every single one of you guys. So. I mean, this is the start of a very beautiful, very challenging, very time-consuming, very work-filled journey. But thank you guys so much. And per usual, with the thank you videos, I'm gonna need you guys to uh, turn up with me in the comment section below. Turn up with me in the comment section below. Let me know what you got going on. Let me know what kind of milestones you're hitting. Let me know what your goals are. Just let me know what is going awesome in your life right now. Just, just. Hit me with some hashtag, sub love, some hashtags, some awesome shit down in the comment section below. And, <laughs> you know, the, the, the progression on this channel has been awesome, you guys. It's been really awesome. I gotta kinda chill out a little bit. Um, the progression on this channel has been awesome. And the first thousand subscribers took 10 and a half months. The next 1,000 or 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers took 40 days, 3,000 subscribers took 30 days, 4,000 subscribers took 18 days, and we hit 5,000, the goal was 14 days. We hit it in 11, 11, <laughs> 11 days, you guys. When I posted the 4K video, I said I was gonna hit it on the 5th, and then I uploaded the video and I checked the calendar, and I was like, oh shit. I just realized that I didn't give myself enough time, because Two weeks from the 24th was the 8th of this month. But because I said on camera I was going to get 5K on the 5th, lo and behold, we're here, baby. 5K on the 5th. <laughs> and it, it's dope, you know what I mean? Because I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I just worked and I 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 worked, and I worked until we, we got it. And we got it on time. We got it ahead of what I said we were going to do it two weeks ago. So that's, that's dope. And that's the same kind of mindset that you should have. Like, set a goal for yourself, whether it be your first 50 subscribers by the end of the month, or your first 100 by, like, the end of the month. And you just, whatever it is, just set a goal for yourself and just do it. Work until you do it. Work until you figure out something that works better than what you're currently doing now. Um, what a lot of people don't realize, and this is um, going to be a thank you slash rant video. <laughs> what a lot of people don't realize about YouTube is that music channels are the hardest channels to grow by far on YouTube. Like, if this channel was a vlogging or gaming or beauty channel, then I know for a fact that I would be at like 20,000 subscribers right now. But music channels are so hard to grow on YouTube, and there's multiple different reasons why I'm not gonna get into that. That can be a video for another day. But we, like a vlogger, for example, they can just, I can take this camera, take it off the tripod, walk outside to my neighborhood, walk to the grocery store, and have a conversation or crack a joke with an uh, old lady at the grocery store and say, go into the grocery store vlog or grocery store tag. And, you know, they produce videos that don't require anything. Like, they just require an idea and creativity, and that's about it. Um, it doesn't have to be anything good, but with music channels, we have to practice, we have to learn lyrics, we have to learn how to sing, we have to learn how to play instruments, we have to learn different solos, and we have to like, you know, be multi-instrumentals, multi and we have to like, we have to, edit. we just have to do a lot more than the average channel. And because it takes so much time, we can't just put videos out every day. And if you are a channel that puts out videos every day, you need to stop that shit. Not saying that your work's not good, it, it could be good, it, probably isn't if I'm being real, but if you're posting videos every day, you need to stop and you need to practice and just learn how to be be better than what you currently are, you know what I mean? Because if you're learning song posting every single day, then you're just throwing some shit out there. You're not really challenging yourself to be better. And that's what we are supposed to be doing every single day. If I showed you guys videos of me, which I'm not, from five years ago, you guys would be like, oh, holy shit, Derek, you used to be some fucking hot ass dude like that was not good at all and my shit five years ago really wasn't um but i was just dedicated and i had a real interest in music and i was lucky enough to have a couple different inspirations with music and you know i didn't know how to sing i tried out for chorus and choir twice 
in my youth. And uh, I got rejected both times. And uh, that absolutely scarred me from ever wanting to do anything musically until after I graduated high school. And then after, I just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? This is what I enjoy doing, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to learn how to get good at it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. And I did it, and I'm doing it. And I'm getting better every single day. I'm getting better every single month. I'm getting better every single year. And I mean, that's what we're all supposed to be doing, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I work at a steakhouse. I'm a server. I'm a waiter. I'm a waiter boy. I'm a little water at lemon fetcher. And, uh... It's not that I hate my job or anything, but I know that I was destined for much more than what I'm currently living, you know, and I worked so fucking hard in my music. I worked so fucking hard to network here on YouTube. I constantly, people that follow me on other social media sites know that I wear out the hashtag never not working. Hashtag never not working. I use that in almost every single thing I post on the internet even this video that is going up today and literally it's just like i don't i have co-workers that say hey Derek, you want to like friday saturday night you want to go out to the bar and you get some drink no i'm good i, I got work to do and my co-workers they can't my, co my roommates they constantly invite me out you know to you know, go out and like explore columbus with them and i always turn them down because i've got work to do you know i've got to set my life up to be something awesome to be everything that i am to be everything that I ever could dream for it to be. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I work so hard. I work a full-time job. I work six days a week. And I put at least 10 to 12 hours in a day on YouTube. And like, things that are productive to YouTube and practicing and just anything musically related. Like I just don't do anything other than work to be better at my craft. To make these videos better, to make myself better, to make this channel better. You know, I'm constantly just researching ideas and you know, just different you know methods of just growing and just myself and YouTube, you know? And that's what we have to do. That's what you have to do. That's what if you want to be a better version of yourself and if you are serious about this, then you will do it. You'll just figure it out. Even if you're just swinging in the dark and just the shit that you're doing doesn't work, at least you know that it doesn't work and you can try something else. On this channel, it took a whole entire year of trial and error. It took an entire year of doing the shit wrong before I ever figured out how to do the shit right. And. You know, since the channel's getting bigger now, it's getting so common for people to like, you know, comment on my videos saying, you know, hey, you shout me out, we let all your subscribers know to check me out. You know, will you tell all your subscribers about me? No, fuck that, no, fuck you too. Like, no, I, I won't do that. Like, I will link you to my How to Grow videos, which list out, between the two videos, list out every single thing that I do. There's not one secret that I've kept from you guys on this channel. And you can watch those videos and you can take everything I learned in a year that's compiled between two videos that total 48 minutes. And you can take them and you can implement them for yourself. But that's about it. You know what I mean? Like, nothing in this world is free. Like, I didn't get these 5,000 subscribers for free. I got these 5,000 subscribers because of hard work. Like, I didn't get these subscribers because YouTube's just putting me on. And, like, I'm getting all these random subs daily. No, I'm not. I only get, like, less... I only get like seven to ten subscribers a day currently at this point and as much as and those are organic you know what I mean like if I didn't network at all like seven to ten subscribers organic daily and sometimes not even that sometimes I lose subscribers if I don't network or post anything and you know what I mean you just gotta figure it out man you just gotta figure it out I mean, this channel is averaging right now anywhere between like 80 to 140 subscribers a day. And that's only because I network so relentlessly. Like, I don't do anything else. And I've just, I didn't get serious about this YouTube channel until January. And since in January, I had 250 subscribers. You know, a year ago, I had 178 subscribers. And, you know, just, you can grow at any rate that you're willing to work for. You know, one of the smartest things I ever heard, ever, was from DJ Khaled. He said, if you want to be the best, you have to outwork the best. And that's exactly what I do. Sometimes I'll swing in the dark, and sometimes what I do doesn't work. Sometimes the videos that I post aren't good. Sometimes it just, it, it blows up in my face, and it, you know, I have to, you know, learn from it. But 
if you don't post it, you don't learn from it. If you don't do it, you won't grow from it, you know? So just be awesome. Challenge yourself to be better, you know? Um, if you're one of those type of people that say, hey, uh, I don't have time to post videos. I just, I, I've got a job and I got a girlfriend. I got to do this and I got kids. Then fuck it. Then just get off of YouTube. Just go ahead and just deactivate your channel if you're going to make excuses like that because you are, you don't have the mentality to be successful in music. You know, like go flip burgers for the rest of your life or, you know, go to college or something. Like do something else other than, you know, to try, like doing YouTube because you have to be serious. You have to be on a routine. You have to be consistent. To be successful on this platform and I'm not saying any of these things to discourage anybody because I would never do that I would never want anybody to do that to me so I'm not gonna do that to anybody else but what I am saying is you have to stop making excuses stop succumbing to that weak mentality you know I mean if I, I work six days a week and I work 40 plus hours a week and if I can make time for these videos then anybody can make time for these videos you know and anybody can make time to grow and just learn something. I mean, there's, just, there's no excuse for it at all. So do not make excuses. After you watch this video, go pick up your instrument. Go turn on some instrumentals on YouTube. Just do whatever the hell you do. And just do something awesome. Create something awesome. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> the only thing I want to do is just share this joy. This, like, this, this passion with other people. Because it's been the best thing that I've ever done in my entire fucking life, guys. And I promise you that. <laughs> you know, um, I really wouldn't trade these, like, this, this lack of social life, this, like, lack of, you know, just experiences here in Ohio, you know what I mean? I just wouldn't trade any of this for anything, you know what I mean? Because I know I'm setting myself up to literally have the life of my dreams a couple years from now. And... I challenge you to do the same thing. I genuinely challenge everybody to do the same thing. You know, when I used to network back in January, whenever you're like, I would network for eight hours, like eight hours straight with Aaron, back whenever we were doing music together. We would sit at the computer for eight hours just trying stuff. And we wouldn't, <laughs> it would be the next day. It would be an ungodly hour of the night. and. After eight hours of working, we would gain like six subscribers, and it was the most discouraging shit ever. Because it was like, dude, what are we doing? Like, we're we not good enough. Like, you know, just what is wrong with what we're doing to get better at it? And, you know, just for several months, I've just dedicated my time and just my life for the last five, six months now to just figuring it out. And I have figured out something that works good for me now. And,. There's no reason why you can't do the same thing. So stop making excuses for yourself and just do it. I and mean, do it. I and mean, if you do it wrong for a month, then just try something else for the next month. And just do it until you figure it out. I mean, that's how every YouTuber has had, has had to do it up until this point. Unless you know something that I don't know or you know something that the next person doesn't know. But, I mean, other than that, nothing good comes without hard work. So just be awesome. Keep practicing. Just be diligent with your time and stop making excuses stop relying on other people to get to where you want to be you know i just want to inspire one person if i can inspire one person to turn like to just turn their channel around do a complete 180 into like a productive never not working like social media beast of fucking musical awesomeness then that's my goal here is complete but whether you think you can or you can't do something, you're right. You know, if you set goals, I mean, put a goal in your refrigerator. Say, put a goal in the refrigerator that says, hey, I'm going to be at 50 subscribers by the end of the month. That's what your goal is, or whatever your goal is. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, write it out, say it out loud, say it in a video, and then as soon as the video's up, or as soon as your note in the refrigerator's up, or as soon as the alarm in your phone is set, do it. Just go and do everything you can to get it. Yes, sometimes you might not make it. Sometimes you might fail, but that's just life. We, we, we get up and we push on. We keep on. We keep doing it. We keep doing the shit. We don't stop for anybody. And that's what you guys need to take away from this. You know, it's not about how many times you fall, but it's about how many times you get back up. And 
We can all do it. I will be so happy. I will be so fucking happy to see just one comment on this video saying that, you know, I've, I've, I've inspired one person without lit that fire under somebody's ass. So, I'm, I'm just going to wrap this up. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I kind of went on a tangent, so I do apologize about that. It's supposed to be like a big turn up celebration, which it still is. We have 5K, baby. But other than that, I just want you guys to push yourself, challenge yourself. I do it daily. Like the next goal that I'm setting for myself, I don't even know if I can hit it on time. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do it. Cause I, haven't, I don't know how I did these last four milestones, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to work. I'm going to work harder than I ever have because I'm that serious about changing my life. I'm that serious about like buying my mom a house one day. You know, like I, I just I want to be at a point where I can be self-sufficient, where I don't have a corporate boss and I don't have the corporate this, and I just want to be just free, just can be completely liberated, and it's possible. And I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna get there. So do something awesome. I love you guys. My name's Dirk. Yo, home time anomaly. I'll catch you guys on Friday with a fresh video. <laughs>